Hey, Facebook friends. Okay, so I asked earlier today what you thought about my giant letter S. And many of you were like, go get that S, girl. And a few of you were like, yeah, most of you were like, yeah, you're on board with me. So I went back to Hobby Lobby and I got my giant S because when I was first looking at it, I was looking at the N, right? Because I'm all about hard initials and N. And, um, but I don't know, the N just didn't speak to me. But the S, I was thinking about the S. Hey, Jen, I was thinking about the S and I was like, that S is gonna go behind my desk. It's gonna go behind my desk in my office. And when I'm on the national wake up call and when I'm doing all these recordings for YouTube and when I have my like massive following of hundreds of thousands of women, they're gonna see that S. And I'm gonna be able to talk about how I had this dream and I had this vision for my life and it all started in Yuma, Arizona. <laughs> well, I wasn't saying 2018, but I've been working on this vision for a couple of years now. And so I'm just, I'm excited that I got the S because the S, it's just a physical, it's a physical reminder of my heart and my passion and my purpose and how completely exciting that is that like I know what those things are because so many of us go through life and we don't know what our purpose is. We don't know what we're supposed to do and I've been fortunate enough to like quiet down and like hear my gut and I'm doing it. So super excited. I'm going to hang my ass. I don't have an office right now. I had one. But with the new year, I kind of took everything away because my like vibe was just kind of like, I was feeling discouraged. Like I was attracting a lot of people that were stuck and didn't have self-belief and I just felt, I felt bummed. And so I took down my office because I wanted to change my energy, but I've been visualizing and I've been um, thinking about all my goals. And so every single morning when I get up as part of my morning, my morning, what, what did I call it this morning? It's like my mindset morning, right? Like I get my head straight. This morning it started at 3.45. I don't know how I'm still talking to you guys without having passed out. Clearly, I've had a lot of pre-workout. It's true. Um, but I got, every single morning I get up and I start my morning with meditation and prayer and I go outside and I feel the grass and I look at the stars and I think of how freaking grateful I am that I'm alive and I have my health and I have this amazing family and that each day is a gift, right? You have to start each day with gratitude and not waking up feeling like, ugh, here we go, here we go, another day. No, every single day is a gift and I'm determined to look for the joy and to find the good and to like send out rainbows and unicorns <laughs> and they'll boomerang back to you, right? But anyways, part of my, my morning routine is after I go outside and feel the grass and look at the stars and say my prayers and say my affirmations out loud, I sit down with my journal and I write a gratitude list every single morning and it's not, it doesn't have to be profound. I mean, it can be from like my coffee to my slippers to, you know, the cats and fresh litter, like literally whatever you are grateful for, write it down. It makes such a difference. It makes such a difference. And sometimes it really helps shift our perspective because we can get stuck and we can be focusing on all the negative and it's just, it's a great perspective shifter. So I do my gratitude list and then thoughts become things, right? And so after I do my gratitude list, I have to fill an entire page, which really isn't that hard. After my gratitude dump, I move on to thoughts become things and the things I want to become reality in 2018. And so I write out my seven, my top seven to 10 goals that I want to accomplish this coming year that will are gonna happen. Like I'm speaking them into existence, I'm following my purpose, I'm plugged into my gut, right? All I have to do is share who I am and the right people are gonna come to me. The right people are gonna show up and I'm gonna connect with them because they are my right people. So my S is gonna go in my office. So you're all gonna see me. You're all gonna see my giant S behind my head. <laughs> but anyway, if you're not doing that, if you're not writing out your top seven to 10 goals every single morning, I would encourage you to do so because it really helps you figure out what your purpose is. Instead of shooting a bunch of fish in the barrel and you feel like you have all these to-dos you have to get done, it helps you shift your perspective. Again, the perspective word, right? It's just about figuring out what matters and what gives your life, what gives your day value. And yeah, like we're all women, we're all moms, we all have a thousand things to do, but the to-do list, it never goes away. We never get caught up. The laundry will be there tomorrow. The dishes will reappear. So spend some of that time and some of, the, of that energy filling your cup and figuring out what you need to do to become a better version of you. And so that's one of the reasons I'm so grateful that I became a coach, that I said yes to that because it intimidated me. I was like, oh my gosh, people are gonna think I'm trying to sell them things. That's not what I wanna do. And I see a lot of coaches that do that and they hunt people and that's gross and that's not what I'm about. I really want you to live your best life. I really want you to show up and feel good today. Not when you have your after photo, not when you have abs, not when you've lost whatever that number or that goal is for you. I want you to feel good. I want you to feel 
bold and courageous and empowered because you're working on your journey. We're not befores and afters, we are thens and nows. And hopefully that means for you that you're a work in progress, that you're growing just like me. So someday, part of my vision, number one on my top 10 Thoughts that will become things for 2018 is our northern border move. And so I go into great detail about exactly what that house is going to look like and what my view will look like and what my office will feel like with my giant S. And I think about all those things. Thoughts become things. I'm energetically attracting it. And if you're like, whatever, it's true. Everything's energy. God is energy. Money is energy. Sex is energy. Everything is energy. Truth. Truth. So that's my number one goal is the northern border move. It's going to come. I'm super excited. Stay tuned for the announcement. <laughs> um, and then my top, my second one is abundance. I want abundance in my life. I want to feel good. It's not about a certain number. It's not about a certain goal. It's just abundance. It's having enough. It's having more than enough. It's being able to pay it forward. It's being able to live fully and not be distracted and, and stuck in a place of lack, right? And my third is my 10xing my business. Like I want crazy. I'm anticipating. I'm expecting. I'm believing for crazy business growth that the right people who are wanting the same things as me, that want to show up every single day, that want to be better for their kids, that want to set that example, that want to break up with their past and their family bullshit and just be the best version of themselves. That those women are going to believe in themselves and they're going to show up and they're going to get better every single day. And then they will speak to their women that need to hear their message because everything that happens to us, the worst possible thing that happens to you that breaks your heart that splits you into that is part of your test and your test is your testimony nothing ever happens for no reason it happens for a purpose and you can either let it break you and let it ruin you and you can sit in your corner and <laughs> talk about how sad it is and who wronged you and all this other crap or you can be like you know what this happened to me for a reason and i'm in a freaking like rise from the ashes and I'm going to choose to find the perspective and I'm going to get better. I'm going to learn my lesson that I needed to learn this. And lately I've had a lot of lessons. It's been a lot of lessons, but I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful because it's an opportunity to get better. It's not about failure. It's not about hurt. It's not about any of that. It's just an opportunity to get better. So that's my number three goal is exploding this amazing business that I'm so freaking like grateful that I get to do. Like I get to work out and talk to you on social media and I get paid you guys. Like that's insane. Super insane. So my goal that's tied into that is retiring my lover. You can tell him Darren, I'm going to retire him and then he can be my boy toy and then we can travel and he can cook things and it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. I'm so grateful. This is my crazy cool life and that I've got my S for $20 at Hobby Lobby. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. So all of you that piped in, <laughs> thanks for your opinion. I'm really glad I went back and got it. I'm super excited to hang out. I don't know how this thing's going to hang. It's kind of heavy. I could use this thing as a weapon. So anyways, that's my story. That's what I'm all about. Just rocking my life and hopefully inspiring and encouraging you to do the same, to be courageous, to show up today, to stop waiting for everything to line up and be perfect and feel good and feel right. Because whenever you start something new, it's uncomfortable. It's supposed to be. If it was easy, everyone would do it. And when you look around, clearly not everyone is doing it. People are overweight. People are uncomfortable in their skin. People are negative. People are broke. People are unhappy. People are stuck. People are repeating the same cycle over and over and over. If you're living the same day, every single day of your life, you cannot look back after 70 years and think that was your life. Like that's not, that's on repeat. That is sleepwalking. Wake up my friends. You are meant for greatness. Figure out what your purpose is. If you are meant to work with me, well then you need to reach out to me. We need to be talking about this and you should be in my next upcoming group and just rock in your life. It's too short. It's too short. It's too precious. It's too valuable to waste any more time. Fist bumping you. I'm so excited about my ass. Okay, no. So yeah, I have been up since 3.45 and I've had a lot of pre-workout and a lot of superfoods. <sighs> yeah, but I might even get a second workout in today. I don't know. Call me crazy. All right, my friends, thoughts become things. So make yours count. If you are saying, if you're speaking into existence lack and tired and sad and not enough, that is what will find you. But if you are speaking into existence all of your I am's, I am bold, I am courageous, I am smart, I can do hard things, I am worth the effort, I am changing my life, all of those things will start to show up in your life. Brenda, speak your I am, speak it into existence, my friend. That's what I decided to change this year. I decided to stop making all my goals around all the things I felt like I needed to get and all the things that I was like falling short, or I felt disorganized, or I felt like I was falling behind. I had all this like 
bad energy around it. I felt guilty and I felt bad and like I've been doing this for a while and why is this not happening and why does my why does my home like feel like this and why am I stretching myself so thin with PTO and I had all these shoulds that were draining me of my energy and so I decided that thoughts become things and so I was going to I was going to trim the fat and I was going to plug in with the people that want to run with me and the people that are excited and the people that want to get better and the people who are owning their hard and they're real and they're authentic cuz it's not all sunshine and lollipops like it's really freaking hard to change your life but it's freaking exhilarating when you finally surrender all of the hard and all of the lack and you just trust the plans that are out there because we there's plans anything that is in your heart I do believe that that was put there by God and it's seriously a shame and it's just sad to not do something with it. So if you're supposed to be a writer, freaking write something. Or if you're supposed to write a song, make music, like do the thing that is planted in your heart. It's all about checking in with your intuition and plugging in with good energy and reminding yourself of your truths and showing up every single freaking day. I'm fist bumping you. If you want to work with me, if you are one of my unicorns, if you are ready to live your best life and show up, not necessarily because you know how and you're willing to own that it's going to be hard and tricky at times, but you know that you are worth it. You need to message me. You need to be in my, uh, what month is this? February? I was like, December? No, February 12th group. It is a mindset makeover. We will have nutrition guidance. There will be obviously movement because that's something I'm super passionate about. But if you don't have your mindset right, if you are stuck and you keep failing, there is a reason and it's up here. It's up here and it's in here and it is time to fix it and you are worthy of that. So show up to your freaking life. Secret scroll message, drop it below. Fist bumping you, Brenda. Speak your IMs into existence, my friend. Your best life awaits. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hang my ass.